Okay, so this question is basically saying that b is a positive integer less than 150. Okay, so I think we need to write this down. So b is a positive integer and its value is always going to be less than 150. When divided by 7, the remainder is 2. So when you divide b with a 7, you are left with a remainder of 2. And when divided by 4, okay, when you divide b with a 4, the remainder is 3. And the question asking a number of po a pos a possible positive values of b. So I'm like, hey, how many numbers can b be, okay? And quantity b is 4. So uh, these type of questions, these remainder questions, always demand some type of, you know, equation that you need to form. Like for the first one, it's going to be, okay, 7 times p plus the remainder 2, which is going to be b, which is, again, you know, the divisor with the quotient plus the remainder, which is equal to, you know, this uh, dividend. And the second equation is going to be 4 times q plus 3 with another b. So I kind of like need to know what b is. And it's like no other way. I need to kind of like find the uh, some type of repeating pattern. And the easiest way to go about these questions is start with uh, that equation, which has a bigger, you know, this main divisor, like over here. I should start with this. Why? Because 7 is clearly bigger than the 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like drop down a little bit and draw some lines just to, you know, uh, yeah. Okay. So now the question is, okay, so let's make this column for P and let's make this for B. So if P is 0, then B is going to be 2. And if P is 1, 7 ones are 7 plus 2, 7, 8, 9, it's going to be 9. So already, this is going to be the common difference of every single term. So what I need to do is start adding 7s. So what this is going to be 16. Uh, 6 plus 7 is basically 13. I'm going to get a 23. Then I'm going to get another 7 is going to get me 30. Then probably I need to draw another line. Nah, this would be suffice. 37. And then another 7, 7 times 14, 44. And another 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 51. And yada, yada, yada. Okay? Then let's go divide this up. And let's draw another line. Well, probably I don't think so that I need a line. I'll be just fine with it. Yeah. So I'm going to draw Q and then B. So initially, if Q is 0, B is going to be 3. And if Q is 1, 4 was a 4, 5, 6, 7. So a drop off always, it's going to be 4. So all I need to do is start adding 4. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. Then, okay, 19 plus 4. 4 is going to be 23, I believe, and plus a 4, for 4, 5, 6, 27, and then another 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 31, and let's do one more. Am I seeing anything? Uh, is there any repeating number? 2 is not there, 9 is not there, 16 is not there, 20. Oh, yeah, 23 is there. 23 is there. But is there any other number? Probably have to keep on going. So what am I adding here? 4, right? So it's going to be 35. Then it's going to be a 39. And another 4 is going to make it 43. Am I seeing a 43? It's and then 47. Yeah, it's going to be 47. And, and then, then 51. Oh, yeah. Boom. Right on the money. So already, let me use a different marker so that you can clearly see. So the first one was this 23. 
Okay. And the second one was this 51. So now the question is, how many numbers? So what is the difference between these two? So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 7s are, 7, 4s are 20, uh, 4, 5s are 20, 7, 28. Okay. So the gap is basically 28. Now I can do it two ways. I can simply use my calculator. My first value is 23. My second value is 51. I need to keep on adding 28 till I reach a number all the way here which is bigger than 150 because I cannot make it a number which is bigger than 150. Why? Because I'm not allowed to because over here it says you know this B needs to be less than 150. So I'm just gonna grab my calculator and start adding uh, 50, uh, 28 to consecutive numbers. So it's going to be 51 plus 28 is 79, okay? Plus another 28 is 107. Plus a 28, it's going to be 135. And plus a 28, it's going to be 163, which again is not allowed. So how many numbers are there? One, two, three, four, and a five. And if you come back up, quantity A is basically five, and I have to compare it with a four. Therefore, quantity A must be bigger. You guys follow so far? Yes, everybody. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool.